running in a t-shirt and I'm not cold. We survived the winter. <laughs> I'm not a handyman, I don't know how to do this kind of stuff. We're trying to fill up the one wheel because it's such a beautiful day. We're like, we gotta go for one wheel rides, but neither of us are very uh, handy. You don't pay me enough for this <laughs> kind of stuff. He's just nervous to ride on it. I just realized this is the first time you guys have seen the glasses. Oh, I'm getting old. I'm the last in the family to get glasses. Got astigmatism in both eyes. What do you guys think? You look good. That pose just reliving the moment saying, um, He's, he's never gonna be fond of electric things or motorized things because there was a, a time when Depo tried a 50cc motorbike, like a dirt bike for the first time. And, he, and we had just moved from Vancouver to uh, Toronto area and he started going on the motorbike and just kept going and going straight into our U-Haul moving truck, just smashed into the side. He's never recovered from that. It's not true. The story went that my dad was afraid I could hate the truck and he pulled on me and my hands went on the gas like boom, and I flew into the truck. That's, That's the story that Po likes to tell, but I don't know which one's true. That's how it went. <laughs> that Po, watch out for any U-Haul trucks around here. Any day now, that Po. Any day now. Nope, no cars. No cars? No cars. You're safe. Yeah, you're safe, but there's a car coming that way. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> That's as fast as you can get across the road. Oh, my legs are shaking so much there. Look at old grip on this thing. <laughs> These are, one wheels are fast and he's like, I'm going to cross the road. <laughs> Totally destroyed my pants. Worth it though. I used to be absolutely addicted to checking out Social Blade. Even before I had my own YouTube channel, I would just look up people like, for example, Casey Neistat. And it'll tell you how many views they get and it'll give you an estimate of how much those people make on AdSense. So even though Casey Neistat barely ever posts nowadays, he still makes anywhere from $2.7,000 to $43,000 a month. At least that's what it's saying. Or let's check out Peter. Peter McKinnon. Apparently Peter makes anywhere from $2,000 a month to $34,000 a month on AdSense. Peter's making bank. I used to look at Social Blade and think like, man, if I had a YouTube channel that was getting these views and were, was making this amount of money, like the freedom it would provide would be absolutely nuts. But at the same time, I always thought, can it actually be true? Like, are people actually making this much money? Or is this just a scam? Is there something up and Social Blade is just completely lying to me and to everybody else? So today, I'm gonna show you guys how much I make on YouTube from AdSense. Any guesses how much I make on AdSense? Mm, thousand bucks a day. Thousand bucks a day, well, that's, that's, a, that's quite a bit. Just throwing a number out there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look up how much Social Blade says that I make right now. Right now, Social Blade is saying that I make anywhere from $571 to $9,100 from AdSense. Let's see if that's true. And I just wanna say, the reason why I'm making this video is that it would open your eyes to see what's possible or maybe it's a reality check or both. And let's also address the range. Why does Social Blade give such a crazy range? Like it says that I'm making anywhere from $500 to $9,000 a month. That's a big range. And that's because nobody on YouTube gets paid the same amount. Everybody has a little bit of a different CPM and the CPM is how much you get paid per thousand views. And not all views are monetized, so you don't always get served an ad and so therefore you won't get paid for those views because there was no ads on those videos or those watches. And for me, from what I've seen, my CPM has ranged anywhere from about $8 in the early days to up to $15, $20 per thousand views. And so that can wildly vary depending on the channel. I know some channels that are only getting about $2 per thousand views. And then there's other channels 
<laughs> finance that are getting like $50 per thousand views. That's like, that's crazy. So let's start off with the early days. I started my YouTube channel in 2017, or at least that's when I said, I'm gonna start doing YouTube consistently every single week. Before that, I had a few of these like epic travel films, travel feels. And so I had already about 3000 subscribers when I started being full-time YouTube and I had a, a little bit of views already. So I had my channel monetized already. And you can see uh, in January, I start, I'm making a dollar, 40 cents, 28 cents a day. Nothing spectacular, very low numbers. And I posted a few tutorials, few different videos. And then all of a sudden, February 1st, Jan end of January, February 1st, things started to take off a little bit. And it was actually my very first tutorial that I made, how to make GoPro cinematic, that all of a sudden just like hit the algorithm and all of a sudden started getting views. And then 1836, I was getting $36 a day all of a sudden, mostly just from that one video that kind of started to pop off. And even after that video started to take off and I started to get some views and subscribers, I wasn't making anything crazy, like $20, $30 a day, which isn't that much when you're working, you know, eight hours a day or more on your YouTube channel. So it wasn't anything exciting, but there was consistency to it. I was actually making money, which was really fun. And it, it was like this, this realization that like, oh, this could actually someday become something that actually pays me a decent amount. Then something happened, I assume probably some more videos. I had consistently posted videos in April. Uh, at the end of April, I started getting 50, 60, $80 a day, some days, 92 in one day, $90. There seems to be like a, like a tier that I hit that now is getting anywhere from 40 to $90 a day. And that's probably just from posting enough videos and maybe another video kind of took off. So we had that making GoPro cinematic that was kind of taking off and then maybe another one, maybe it was a color grading one or something started taking off. And so now I have two videos that are doing really well and consistently getting me views. And so I started making pretty good. That, that's already like fairly decent money making $90 American in one day. And then you can see that it just keeps going up from there. All of a sudden now we hit $122 and it kind of like stays at that tier now where it's it's 134 and then the lowest is like 40, 50. And then by the end of the year, some of the highs, I was making $259 in one day. Uh, I think 261 seems to be the highest uh, in my first year of YouTube. So you can see how quickly a YouTube channel can take off, even just from AdSense, you can actually start making pretty decent money from it. Then let's look at 2018. You can see right away that 2018 was much more even. There was some highs and some lows. Um, we're making pretty good money every single day. The lows are about $100 and there's, there's a day where I made $720.49 in one day. I think that's that's the peak of 2018. It went much lower for a while. I assume I probably didn't post as many videos or none of my videos were really taking off at that point. So it went all the way down to like $60 a day. But then by the end of the year again, uh, probably Christmas rates. So one, one thing I didn't mention is that depending on the time of year, advertisers will pay more or less for those ads. And if advertisers are paying more for those ads, that's when you have that higher CPM and that's when you're making more money, even if you're getting the exact same amount of views. So by the end of the year, all of a sudden I had these $580 one day, $518, some really great days that I at least feel like that's that's a lot of money. In 2019, this is where it starts to be like a, a like a, a big amount of money that I'm making from AdSense. It's much more consistently higher. I feel like there's some sort of system or something where you kind of like hit a tier and then you kind of stay at that tier and then you go to the next tier and the next tier. And so you can see I'm consistently making anywhere from a hundred at the lowest to like $500 a day, which is really great. And by the end of 2019, I had made 89,000 $540, which is a lot of money. And then in 2020, 
Things just keep trending upwards. We're up 36% year over year. And so now it's just, it starts off kind of similar to as 2019, but then all of a sudden we kind of go to the next tier and our lowest days are now being around $200, $300. And our high, we have a high of around $961. There's a lot of these high like $800, $700 days, especially towards the end of the year. So this is starting to be like, like a legitimate income. This is just one of my income streams and it's making a lot of money. In the beginning, it was kind of just like a nice sprinkle of money, like a promise of things to come. And in 2020, it's starting to be like, this is a great income source. This is probably more than I was making from freelance filmmaking or about the same just from AdSense. So in 2020 per month, I was making about $10,000 from AdSense alone. So if we go back to Social Blade, it's saying that the high end was 9,100. So I was actually making more than what they're estimating that I make from my channel. Now that could be very different, but I do think that the estimations that Social Blade give are very conservative. I think the low end is like way, way, way too low, but I wouldn't be surprised if on the higher end, it's actually pretty accurate. Then just for fun, let's look at 2021 so far. We haven't had too many months yet, but it seems like kind of the same trend. I wouldn't be surprised if I make almost exactly the same amount as I did in 2020. 2020 was a great year for me with AdSense. And it's all gonna depend on if I post more videos or if there's some videos that really take off for whatever reason, the algorithm gods choose that video to take off. And so then I might make more money or less money this year. But I have noticed that the CPM seems to consistently go up for my channel at least as my channel grows. And I don't know how exactly they choose CPMs, but that's what I've noticed that each year I've made a little bit more. So even though my views have stayed fairly consistent on my channel, I've been making more money because the CPM is going up. So even though my channel is not one of those channels like uh, Logan Paul or Eric or something that are getting like millions and millions of views every single month, just from AdSense, I've been able to get a really decent, legitimate income, and that's just one of my revenue streams. I never like to rely on AdSense or brand deals, even though that's what most people, they only really do AdSense and brand deals. I don't like relying on those because they're so heavily dependent on how many views you get. The more views you get, the more advertisements on your channel, the, the higher your CPM is gonna be, and also the higher your brand deal rates will be. They're so tied to the amount of views that you're getting. Whereas, for example, you can have a course, and even with just you know five, 10,000 subscribers, if it's a specific niche and you offer this course that really provides value for those people in that niche, you can make a lot of money, like 10 times, maybe even 100 times the amount that you would from AdSense. Always maximize your revenue streams. And I really wanted to make this video to kind of open up your eyes as a creative, as a creator, as a filmmaker, that you don't have to do it the old school way. You can do it the new school way of building your own thing, building your own dreams versus somebody else's, or just relying on somebody else to give you work like I did early in my career. You can build your own thing and it can be very lucrative at the same time. You don't have to give up on that. And the best part of this whole thing is that it then gives you freedom and access and possibilities to actually make the things that you want to make. People think that, you know, if I keep freelance filmmaking, and I'm working for big companies, eventually some guy's going to be like, hey, I want to pay you to make your personal project. And that never, ever happens. Ask any filmmaker, that never happens. But if you can build your own brand, your own channel, for example, you can then decide, hey, like, I want to make a sh I want to make a short film or I want to make a series and put it on my channel and I'll take people along for the ride and show them the BTS and all that stuff. Like I have that opportunity now. I have way more freedom to choose what I actually want to do. And I hate seeing 
insanely creative, way more creative, way better filmmakers than I am, way more talented people than I am that are just struggling because they're constantly trying to slave away for somebody else instead of just building their own community like this. So if you're one of those people, please take this as an encouragement that you can do something different. It doesn't have to be a YouTube channel with a million subscribers. Uh, even in the early days, in that first year, I had, okay, by the end of it, I think I had 250,000 subscribers, which is quite a bit. But even in the middle there, I was making fairly decent money from a lot less views than you think. So yeah, I hope this inspires you, or at the very least, um, quenches your curiosity, answers your curiosity about how much do YouTubers actually get paid or how much does a filmmaker YouTuber uh, make. That, but did that surprise you at all? About $10,000 US a month? That's pretty good. <laughs> That's what's paying your salary. Thanks, AdSense. <laughs> Windows down, some solid milk team. Life is good. You wanna say hi to everybody? Can't believe she's already six months old. You're going so fast, yeah. I wonder what you're gonna be when you get older. Are you gonna be a filmmaker? A director? No? A YouTuber? <laughs> See you later. Bye guys.